Hello, this is Matt with an update about the Wayland Jennings and Merle Haggard dimes. Those were the dimes that were either extremely beautiful or toned to perfection. That's why I called them the Wayland Jennings or the Merle Haggard dimes. The ones that are just, they stand out because they're special. So I did plant them in the clad section. So I have eight books here and I filled the clad section with those dimes. And I did want to offer this to anybody that really needs 51S, 54S, or 55s. I have several 55Ps, a couple 51Ss, and I believe one or two 54Ss. If you're working on a book and you need them, put a comment down. Maybe we can do a, you know, a mail. I'll mail something to you or do a quick trade. No big deal. But I'm very happy, again, to land these. And I just want to give a quick shot, because again, these are the homeless dimes, right? They have no place. So this is the panel. This was another two panels. And these really are my favorites. I, you know, I do this to build books, but I'm really search searching for these really cool dimes. So now we go to the next clad section. And I try to get a little unique with the pattern. If the good toning's on the reverse, I put the reverse out. And then the final two books. All right, so this is my final, final wrap up. Again, I just wanted to show where I landed the the good looking Merle Haggards and Waylon Jennings. I think I'm probably the first person ever to call a Roosevelt dime a Merle Haggard or a Waylon Jennings, but maybe we can make it stick. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on this. And again, if you need something, if you need something to fill your books, give me a comment. We'll try to work something out. Talk to you guys very soon.